there's a 99% chance you haven't tried what I believe is the greatest pork belly recipe ever. Pork belly with fermented red bean curd. This is a quintessential Hakka style dish and it's yet another reason to start using Chinese cheese, the lesser known potent ingredient that's key to lots of other Chinese classics like tasu. To start, we'll learn how a master chef preps the pork belly. We'll start by slicing our pork belly into half inch thick slices. If you want to make sure you get the best bites of pork belly, let's head to Costco to find out how my dad buys the best pork belly possible. Oh, Afterwards, we'll set our pork aside while we prepare the marinade. Next, we'll add our sliced pork to the marinade and mix to combine. How do you pick a good cut of pork belly? Once our pork is marinated, we'll start prepping the batter. We have all of these ingredients listed on our blog at madewithlao.com, along with step by step instructions and video clips to guide you as you make the recipe at home. This batter is similar to our other fried recipes like lemon chicken or salt and pepper wings where my dad opts for a roughly even split of flour to cornstarch. Usually he adds slightly more flour than cornstarch. Flour gives the batter more lightness, and cornstarch gives the batter more crunch. He also adds baking powder, which creates tiny air bubbles during frying for a crispier coating. Here's another important tip. Don't add your water all at once. Gradually mix it in until you reach the consistency you want. We'll continue mixing until we've reached a more runny consistency. Add water as needed. It should look something like this. Okay. So I leave it out. Guys, the cheese is all ready. We'll start by heating a wok on high. When combining your batter and pork, add enough batter to just cover the pork. Okay, yeah, Turn off the heat before adding in your frying oil. Today we're using corn oil, but you can use any neutral oil with a high smoke point like peanut or vegetable oil. Okay, 
嗱，擺啲筷子落去，有泡出嚟就得啦。佢而家仲未得，三百四嚇，真係唔多。而家咧，想慢火啲佢。We'll heat our oil to about 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. 先就咧倒啫。Then we'll fry our green beans for one minute or just until they start to get wrinkly. 嗱，頭皮得㗎啦。Afterwards, set them aside to drain the oil. Next, we'll fry our pork belly. 一塊塊咁，你唔好一下咁斬曬落去，斬曬落去會黐住曬啦嘛，係咪 ？Fry the pork for about one to two minutes. 嗱，我用筷子捉佢佢，嗱，而家得噶啦，而家捉捉佢，嗱，咪唔識黑嘅嘛，你啊睇下喐咪咪黐住佢底啊，咪啲咩啲粉咪散曬咯，係嘛？好，前面邊個火？嗱，炸到佢微微黃色就得噶啦。Today's dish is called nam yu da n fa yuk. In Cantonese, nam yu meaning red fermented bean curd and da n fa yuk meaning fried pork belly. Red fermented bean curd is one variant of Chinese fermented bean curds, and it's a secret staple of my dad's pantry. After brining cubes of tofu with a concoction of rice wine, red yeast rice, and other ingredients, we end up with cubes of soft cheese-like texture and distinctive flavor that some call Chinese cheese. It's a key ingredient in our tossu pork marinade, and it's critical in bringing out the umami flavors of our vegetarian Buddha's delight recipe. Most local Asian grocers will sell it in jars in the condiment section, but you can also get it on Amazon if you can't find it locally. And if you want to learn more about using fermented bean curd and other fermented ingredients, we have an entire course on this called Elements of Funk inside the Cantal Cooking Club. Both of these links are in our description. Continue to fry your pork in batches until all the pork is fried. For our second fry, we'll heat our oil to at least 380 degrees Fahrenheit or about 195 degrees Celsius. In this stage of frying, we'll only need to fry for about 30 seconds as we've already cooked it in the first fry. We'll continue to fry in batches until all of our pork has been double fried. Lastly, Lastly, we'll plate our dish and it'll be ready to serve. Nam Yu Zha Fa Yu, it's all done. Hope you enjoy it. Cheers! 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 Cheers!